what up everybody welcome back to it figures look at that sunlight shining through here got that vitamin d coming through here i got the blinds closed let's see if i can close them a little more there we go a little better a little better so as you can see today we got a throwback we got some retroosity the retro classic Batman TV series featuring my guy Adam West. Now I'm an old head, so this is like the first iteration of Batman that I remember. This is the first Batman that I was exposed to. And this is a little bit before my time because this show dropped in 1966. I was born in 1976. And I got a couple little random facts about uh, Adam West in this Batman series. Like I said, it came out in 66. I was born in 76, so it was 10 years ahead of me. But I watched all the reruns, and I was just, like, engulfed in this show. I would be glued to the TV. I would lay. I still remember I would lie under my bed. I used to like to hang out under my bed. So I would lie under my bed and watch the episodes of the Batman TV series. And uh, this is pretty special because... Adam West, his birthday was September 19th, uh, which is 10 days after mine. Mine is actually tomorrow. It is September 9th. So um, 10 years before my birth, they made this series. And then he, uh, his birthday was 10 days after mine. And then another random fact that I found out is that he actually passed away. Rest in peace, Adam West. He actually passed away on my daughter's birthday, my youngest daughter's birthday, June 9th. So a lot of history there with this guy and this uh, version of Batman. So I was happy to get this. It has some type of uh, nostalgic value and sentimental value. So there you go. And we got a nice picture of Adam West on the back. And like I said, rest in power, Adam West. One of my first uh, superheroes besides my parents. So let's get them out the box. And I'm so happy that McFarlane released uh, a 7-inch DC Multiverse version of this Batman because you know they have the 66 batman line but that scale is smaller so i've never been interested in getting those figures so i just went ballistic when i found out that they were making a seven inch scale classic batman he comes with three sets of hands you got uh like relaxed open hands you have uh, computing hands because he has his little bat radio in here and then you have the classic iconic dancing batman hands if you remember that episode if you're old enough to remember or if you googled it and pulled it up for you youngins then it also comes with the typical stand that you always get like I said, it comes with the bat radio or the little bat handheld computer. I guess that would have been the equivalent of an iPad back in 66 and the Batarang. And then we also have this card that says enter for a chance to win. See that? And what could you win, you might ask? Well, they have this contest going where you can win a classic Batman cow. And your card will have a, uh, a secret number on the back. And um, let me take this. So you're gonna have on the back of this card, You'll see there's a, a QR code to go to the contest site, I guess. And then you have your, uh, I don't want 
to show it, but you have your uh, little code that you scratch off to enter. I've already entered. Uh, and that goes until February 28th. So I guess I won't find out if I want until February 28th. So if you get this guy before February 28th, be sure to enter that contest. That'd be cool to have an old school Batman Kyle. That's definitely what I would be for next Halloween if I did win. That would be an easy uh, decision. So now let's look at this guy. He looks amazing. Looks just like Adam West as Batman. Looks like the old school TV show costume. I like the colors. We got a soft, good, posable cape. The utility belt looks amazing. I mean, this guy looks just like he did. It looks like he stepped out of the television. Man, I would have had a ball with this guy back then when I was a wee lad watching this show. If I could have had him right next to me as I watched the show, that would have been awesome. I actually had my first, my very, very first action figure that I can remember. I probably was about four or five. Back in my day, <laughs> I was about four or five and I had a 12 inch. Nowadays we would say a one six scale, but I had a 12 inch Superman action figure that wasn't very posable. I think he only had about maybe eight, eight, 10 points of articulation. So he wasn't very posable, but I remember he had a little switch on his back. And when you flip that switch, his eyes lit up with the, uh, either the x-ray vision or like the, the angry heat vision, whichever one you wanted to imagine it was. But I love that Superman. He served a dual purpose. He was a toy and he was a nightlight because I remember I would uh, I was kind of afraid of the dark as a kid. So I would put my covers and my blanket over my head. And then once I got the blanket over me like a little fort or a tent, I would flick that switch on Superman's back and his eyes would light up and we would have a little light under the covers. And that would make me feel safe and sound until I fell asleep. So I said all that to say, that was a very long story for no reason, but I said all that to say, if I would have had this guy back then, he could have hung out with me while I watched the show. Like Superman used to hang out with me. So, I could imagine really enjoying this as a child, but too late for that. So I'm going to enjoy him now. So he has the wired cape, double jointed elbows, which are his arms all together. Elbows, shoulders, bicep cut, butterfly joint, wrist hands, wrist rotation. All of this stuff is very loose. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Well, I kind of already told you. So he the they made sure that they made him posable enough to recreate the scene from the show when he was dancing. So he definitely can do that, and you'll see pictures of him doing that if you continue to watch this video. I will show you that pose. Uh, very flexible, very, very loose joints, and I have no problem with that as long as they're not so loose to where he can't stand up. So we got a, a very loose ab crunch that goes back and forth pretty good. I just told you everything that we have on the arms, full 360 degree rotation on the head. Does not look up very far, I guess enough. And not down really at all. Just a teeny tiny angle, but it's straight ahead for the most part. 
Uh, we got ab rotation, no waist rotation. Just the ab rotation, it looks like. Yep. Good split. Double jointed knees. And this figure does have pins in it, but if you watch my videos, you know, I don't care whether it's pinless or if it has pins. That doesn't matter to me as long as it looks good. Very poseable ankles, rocker, way up, way back. Ridiculous how loose those ankles are. And toe articulation. So he can move around pretty well. Looks amazing. The head scope is great. Looks like Adam West under that cowl. Everything looks just like the show. The logo on the chest. I love that belt. That belt is just everything. Just like the show. And this is rapidly becoming one of my favorite figures. Who would have thought that one of the retro figures in my collection, one of the old school looking figures that's not big, buff, and bulky like I like them, would be one of my favorites, but it is. And I think it has a lot to do with, like I said, the nostalgia value, uh, just how accurate they got it. It's like spot on, man. And, and I'm gonna show comparisons of the TV series and this figure side by side. It's, they did a great job on this. I know McFarlane has some misses sometimes. And when I look at the social media forums and all my fellow collectors, my uh, action figure brethren, we uh, often complain about how McFarlane drops the ball sometimes, but they did not drop the ball on this one. This is an absolute grand slam. I love this figure. I recommend you get it 10 out of 10. It's posable, it looks good, it's fun. And man, listen, if they come out with a DC Multiverse version of the Retro 66 Batmobile or the Bat Cycle, I'm here for it. Just take my money because uh, that would be an awesome addition because this is already so much fun to pose and play around with. If we had, if we had the vehicle, man, <clears throat> I might have to take off a day from work to play around with that. So McFarlane, let's get the vehicle. I know you have it for the 66 line, but we need it for the DC Multiverse line. So go ahead, pump out that uh, 66 Batmobile for us. So that's all I got for you today. Like I said, I love it. Go cop it if you don't have it, if you can find it. And then if you get it, don't forget to enter that contest for the Kyle. Till next time, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we come out with new content. And until next time, peace and love. Keep hunting. Here's classic TV series Batman with the Nightfall Batman from the Batman Bane Nightfall 2-pack.